Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial by photoshopeducation.blogspot.com. Today we're going to talk to you about the history palette. And before we get to the next tutorial after this one, which we'll be talking about the history uh, brush and the art history brush, we need to really understand the history palette. If you haven't already, scroll to the bottom and left click on the image that is uh, download supporting files. Download this DSC 03562 and if you've, you might already have this from previous tutorials, open it up, it's a picture of a sky and then do a control J to uh, duplicate the background layer and then hide the background layer. The first thing we want to show you is how, how, how can you see the history palette? Some, sometimes you might have accidentally closed it, didn't know what it was, so let's make sure it's open. Left click on the window menu, come down to history, make sure that it has a checkbox. Now ours is actually on the right hand side above the layer palette. It could be anywhere, we could resize this, we could pull it away and maybe have it right on the canvas area for the, most of the time right above the layer palette it's a good position and what does the history palette do well any time that you do a step or a tool use a tool or duplicate anything or pretty much do anything in Photoshop it records that step and it says this is what you did well over here on the right hand side you'll notice that we've got two steps already created one called open and one called layer via copy that's when we opened it. That's when we copied the background layer. Now, let's say I, did, I didn't want the, back, the, the background layer like it was. I want to go back to the almost like the original when we opened it up. All you got to do is left click where it says open. You'll notice that the, on your screen is the, the, duplicate, uh, the duplication of the background layer is no longer there. That's okay. It's, you can see that it's grayed out. Just left click on it and it will come back. So anything that's grayed out it won't be displayed or uh, let's say you had the brush or anything like that it won't be displayed the beauty of the history palette is normally we tell you to do a control Z to do undo the last change well you can do a, undo a lot uh, more than just the last change you can actually go back maybe if you wanted to go back uh, 10 steps and say you know what I made an error up on the 14th step and this is where I'm going to go to and all you got to do is let's left click that so if I let's let's say we wanted to let's just add a few examples here and we'll mix and match it doesn't matter and we'll use this lasso tool now we're adding a few more we deselected it show you what kind of different options we actually have here yeah uh, we'll use so Let's kind of fill this up, and that, that looks good. So now we have pretty much it's full. Actually, that's 17. That's technically not full. There's about tw there's 20 that you can actually do once you install Photoshop. But we're going to show you how you can change that. Now we got to be a little bit careful in saying uh, the more it stores and logs this information. The more resources it's going to use on your system. So if you got a slower PC or a slower Mac, then you got to be careful with uh, turning this up. But all you got to do is there's a few ways. Uh, there's there's at least one other way to get into the preferences. But uh, the easy way is Control K. Control K will actually bring up the preferences. It will be on the general uh, menu. Let's come down to performance. Now we already changed this, but by default it's actually set to 20. We like to keep it at 40. It gives us a little bit more that we can go back. And how you change is just left click in here and make the change. Or you could use a slider by left clicking the right arrow and making the change. For now let's just go ahead and do 40. And then all you have to do is left click OK. And now we actually can go beyond that. We can go beyond 20. We already got 17 here so it's not going to take any too much more to do this and let's see here and draw this so now we definitely have more than 20 we'll go up to 40 but let's say I wanted go back all the way to this brush tool up here 
all I do is left click it it grays everything out and you'll notice that if you're looking at the canvas it will actually go back to that spot so that's how you actually change preferences the next area you want to show you is these are your steps this is the snapshot uh, actually by default when you open an image it takes a snapshot of that image it says okay this is the starting point but let's say I wanted to I get all the way down to the bottom here and this is highlighted in the uh, history palette and I say you know what I'm gonna do something uh, I don't know if it's gonna if it's gonna be good or bad or you, you're testing something or maybe you you're running out of you're, you're at 20 right now and you don't want to go any further and you want to take a snapshot of it well on the bottom here is three tools one is actually called the new document or create new document it basically says take this at this state so if I went back here and I created at this state I could create a new document based off of that we'll go to the bottom left click that and you'll notice up here at the top it says brush tool 33% uh, showing and that's showing you only one item in the history because it's created a new um, history palette for that or history steps for that let's go back to this and that's how to create it this is a snapshot we're gonna say we want you to take a snapshot what have we done let's left click that and if we scroll all the way back to the top you'll notice that now I've got two snapshots and one's called snapshot one and we'll come back to that in a second but we want to show you that actually the image on the screen show you how it looks so we're not kinda uh, faking this to make it work and then when you try it it doesn't work so we'll, we'll show you that's the screen right now we've already took that snapshot now let's show you how to delete something let's go all the way back to uh, layer via copy and if I say I want to delete layer via copy it's going to delete everything from that point forward there's a few ways to do this you can hold down the left mouse button drag it down to the trash can or you can actually right click on it which we actually prefer better it does give you a dialog box that's the reason why we like it better it just basically confirms hey you really want to delete this so if I right click I can left click it delete comes up to it says do delete state layer via copy yes and you'll notice the layer the history palette has now changed we're back to the open if I do make an error once again you can do a control Z and undo those changes we'll show you that it works the same way here we'll drag this down holding the left mouse button and release the left mouse button on the trash can it does the same thing the reason why we like the other is because of the dialog box so now we have it open and if you look at the screen it's perfect the way that we had it open let's go to snapshot one and look at the screen it's back to the way it was because it took a snapshot even though we've already deleted it we took the snapshot first so that's a good thing uh, if you don't like the name of snapshot one which we always change it just double left click on it and we can say with brushes uh, say with brush that's fine so we can have that now it's the same principle or same uh, way to delete a snapshot uh, you could actually drag it all the way down here and release the left mouse and it deletes it uh, once again control Z delete it if you wanted to right click on it and delete it that way it doesn't matter either way so that's pretty much it for the history palette. That's all you need to really know now. Uh, hope you enjoy this tutorial. Feel free to scroll to the bottom, take the 10 question quiz, see how much knowledge you remember from this tutorial. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.